God bless you, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. I just wanted to show up here and just talk to you guys. I know there's a lot of things going on, and um, I just feel like it's an appropriate time to just encourage you guys because, you know, the Lord does desire for us to continue to fight the good fight of faith. He wants us to contend for our faith. Even if things are in basically opposition to his word. I mean, this is really a wonderful opportunity if you really look at it, even though it may be challenging to see the wonders in it. But, you know, when you actually realize that the Lord, your God, is with you and that he is the one helping you to fight your battles and you realize that he will never leave you nor forsake you and that he is going to be with you until the end of age. That is his promise. He will not leave you. And I think that when you realize how much God is for you, it really changes the way that you go about your walk with God. And it makes things a less scary, less stressful. Because you know that God is capable of anything. And what's impossible for man is possible for God. And if there's anything that you're struggling with, God always has a solution. He always has a way out. God always has the answer. And I think that's really, for me, what gives me peace, even in the midst of all this chaos and even in the midst of everything that's transitioning Lord, um, right now. I'm so used to saying Lord. I always end <laughs> up kind of saying that sometimes. Um, but even in the midst of this transition that's happening, even with the White House, even with, you know, our president and stuff like that, we just got to pray, like pray for our president. Okay. You may not like the guy. Okay. But we need to pray for him. We need to pray for every leader. Pray for them. He says, pray for your enemies. He says, feed them. God wants us to love our enemies. That's literally his commandment. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. That includes our enemies. I know it's not easy. That is what God has called us to do. We are walking in him. We are children of the light. Nothing shines brighter than the love of Christ. So I want to encourage you guys today just to know that don't look at this as a disappointment. Don't look at this as doomsday. First of all, look at it as a sign of the times that our Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. And also look at it as an opportunity to triumph even in the midst of darkness. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff come for me. Remember those words in Psalm 23. You are more than a conqueror. We have Christ Jesus and <laughs> he already did it all. We can walk in victory. And we shall not love our lives unto death. This life is only temporary. Our true, wonderful, everlasting life in Christ should be now and on earth. We should be really in him. We should really be seeking him, confessing our sins, repenting, turning away from our worldly lusts, the lust of the flesh, the lust of our eyes, and the pride of life. Just completely forsake that. Seek the Lord for deliverance. But it's only through his spirit that we can rise out of those situations. It's only through God's Holy Spirit that we are even able to be here to be able to conquer, to be victors. It's only through God that we are able to even do that. 
And God is faithful to finish what he started. That's what his word says. He is faithful to finish what he started in you until his return. So rejoice, my brothers and sisters. Time is drawing near, but as times get darker, we become brighter. The light shines brilliantly in darkness. So let your light shine in Christ. And don't give any way for fear. Don't give any room for it. Just trust the Lord. and He will get you through this. He will guide you always. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Father, I just pray for every single person that's listening, Lord God, that if they're dealing with any anxiety or fear, I just pray, Lord, that you will just completely just remove those spirits off of them. That the spirit of fear and the spirit of worry will be no more. That you will be their portion. That the spirit of peace and joy and love will just overcome them right now in the name of Jesus. I just pray, Lord God, that you will just cover them in your love and draw them close to you today. I pray, God, that you will be their portion forevermore, Lord God. For as long as they live, they shall worship the Lord. So, Father, have your way with your beloved children. Comfort them in your Holy Spirit. And just renew their minds. Keep their eyes single upon you, Lord God. And do not allow them to be led away by their own understanding, God. But may their minds be renewed daily in your word. May they trust in the promises that you have given us. For you alone are faithful. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys.